did you hear about the NPM package that just become a hacker's gold mine? One tiny update and millions of compromised devices turning into a crypto stealing machine. In order to showcase what exactly happened in this stack, we need to see the dynamics of a cyber attack and what actually is going on. I thought to find this obsidian diagram which is gonna help us visualize everything along the lines. And we start with a threat actor. These essentially are bad guys who want to do harm and they are pretty much cyber criminals wanting to achieve something with bad intention. In that case, steal money. Now we have to think about that each attack has an objective. An attack is not just a randomness in the wild, it has objective it wants to achieve. In that case, the only purpose is to wait for crypto transactions and steal the money of the sender. At the beginning of the attack, we have a standard phishing scenario. And now this attack I have say is quite smart because this phishing scenario is targeted in not into a regular HR guy, not into someone who is not into tech, but to a package man maintainer, which actually prove a several points that none of us is actually secured. And you have to be super careful, just always treat emails and links with extreme caution, even though you may be working inside the IT. The phishing attack used the NPM JS.help domain, which at the end now is flagged as a malicious domain, but I mean it's already too late because the damage was already done. Now here you can see a snippet of virus total, and if we scroll down we can see that many of the vendors have actually flagged this domain to be phishing. Now on the top we can see the official statement from the, from the maintainer after he got phished successfully. He just says yes, I got pwned, sorry everyone for embarrassing that for the embarrassing situation and I can say huge respect for admitting the whole guilt, huge respect for approaching the things like that, but keep in mind guys, no one is safe, always be careful, no matter if you are into cybersec or IT. Now when that thing happens and when he got fished, what happens next is actually super tricky and smart. Now with his credential captured, the threat actors actually was able to publish a new Node.js package. And this NPM package is debug.442. Now, as you can see here from the official GitHub, it's officially stated that this was compromised. Now, what's pushed inside these packets is as soon as this packet or a related packet was downloaded, the machine which this packet is installed is going to automatically be injected with the malware. The malware is, as mentioned, a crypto steward aimed to swap addresses when a crypto transaction is being made. But this debug package has dependency and it's connected to other packages, and some of them you can see here. Even if you install these packages, you can automatically install debug, which is compromised. And by installing, let's say, Cower 501, you can automatically get compromised, and your machine would be infected with this crypto stealing malware. We can see a disabled post back here, which actually explains how this works step by step. And I'm gonna drop all the links I have into the video description so you guys can see and take a look for yourself. Now here we have uh, first the affected packages. And now there can be more, but these are just verified. How the malware works step by step, we have it injects itself into a browser. we using, of course, only JS because that's what the packages is built upon. It watches for sensitive data as it watches specifically for crypto transaction. The malware is found to be uh, able to recognize the multiple formats of crypto transactions, including Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, Tron, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. So if you send crypto using these main now, let's say blockchains, you're pretty much compromised if you installed some of these packages. On the third step, when such kind of transaction is being identified, it replaces the legitimate destination with an attacker controlled address, essentially swapping the address. Now, it uses a look like address, so it's pretty much hard to, to see that anything like that is going on. Then it hijacks the transaction because before they're signed. That essentially means there's a few verification steps when a blockchain transaction goes by. And the malware is able to hijack these transactions and essentially see all the parameters, all the, all the steps during the transaction and so on. So essentially, if the UI is correct and the address looks correct, you with the step four, the malware can actually hijack the address and place that on the blockchain, which is pretty much invisible to the naked eye. The malware is of course designed to be stealthy and it is stealthy because at the end, its main job is not to run commands, it's not to infect a, let's say ransomware, it's not to do anything like that. Its main job is to swap addresses. And doing so, it makes the malware extremely stealthy because a lot of AV Soviets do not watch that much for this kind of behavior. They mainly care about is your machine infected with a remote code execution malware and not with a malware which can swap commands. Now, just by having a limited functionality makes this malware extremely stealthy. And 
Let's summarize. This is the whole attack path scenario for this huge NPM hack, which turned out to compromise millions of devices. Of course, there, there can be a lot into each step. You can dig yourself into each single step, but this is the high level overview about this attack. Now, as a summary, I can say that you have to be extremely careful because as mentioned several times, no matter if you're an IT guy, no matter if you're a security guy, you can be fished. There's no one safe. And sometimes hackers may become very, very clever. First, we target an IT guy who is a maintainer of NPM packages. And the idea is to poison these NPM packages with a malware that developer is going to use. So the end user, the end victim is the developer who's going to install this packet on his system. And since the developers are IT guys, there's a high chance that some of them might use cryptocurrency or create some kind of exchanges or perhaps trade or use it as a regular money. So the attack is quite smart and I can say it targets the right group of people. With that being said, guys, be careful and always pay close attention on what do you click.